so uh, hi everyone and welcome to today's tutorial and today I decided that we are going to make a game from scratch and let me just open here I want to show you what you're going to do so I have this background here that I, I got it free from the Unreal Engine and this is what you are going to use so we can try to make our own game so if I click here pray we can try to preview this how this uh, background look like so let's see uh, you can just have this background for free on the Unreal Engine and if you are a beginner I would advise you to first of all use a background like this one which is not much complicated this is a demo background and you can if you are good in animating and you are good in everything then you can try to uh, advance in everything you do so uh, let's see so this is how this city look like and this is the bugger that we are going to use for our project so i like this background there are so many looms where we can try to do a lot of thing with and that's why i decided that uh we are going to so uh this is now what we have and this is our character our main character uh our demo character that we have and if i move my character from side to side using my mouse w x if i click the space my character can jump and we can do a tour with this character to see so um, this is just a, a, the demo so I want to change everything and I want to use my own character because this is the character that you get as the third person if I click back then you can be able to see how this background look like so what I'm going to do first is that I'm going to change this character. So I have my own character here called Shibi. And this is what I'm going to use. You can get also this character from uh, your Unreal Engine. And I have this character here. So if I double click here on my blueprint, I have to make some changes here. So uh, I can make one, this one look uh, enlarge it. And then I go to the skeleton and what i like to do before i change the character i like to come here i select ring and here uh, um, it is lighting a paragon proto retarget so i have to change this one to humanoid i select humanoid link so i just click and to make my character clear what i'm going to use i'll come and choose one of those characters so i, I can choose this one with the blue crop and here to ask me here down apply to the asset so i just say apply to the asset and then how to save everything so i'll go back and i cancel everything and now what i have to do i have to go back here to hear my that character is that the one that we saw so i go here to the blueprint i go to the blueprint uh let me go back um, so um, that uh, mesh no also I'll go here to the mannequin so I click then I go to the character I go to the mesh and then I have to also change this character if I come into the skeleton you see here select link is none so I, I need to change this one to say a select humanoid ring if I don't do that one, I cannot be able to retarget because I need to change this character. This is what I need to change and make this uh, my character to appear on my game and not this character here. So um, I'll just go back. And now I come here, we have this skeleton here. What you can do is that you can uh, deprecate this one here, but for the moment I'll not do anything. I'll just come here. And I say I want to retarget. And when you say retarget, if you don't see this one here, it's because you did not match the character that you wanted to retarget there on the humanoid. So you need to go there only uh, where I showed you, where you can go to the uh, Shibi 
and then you go to the skeleton and then if you click this one then the ship will appear here and if i click here now um if i i preview my game let's see it will also go to the same process because this one what we are using here is a demo and uh let's see what i am telling you so uh this one we only take like um uh, at 10 seconds then it is done then we can preview our prayer um hmm. and guys if you have not subscribed and you're watching this video and you think what i'm doing is good uh don't forget to subscribe and also to support me and if you have any question you can just uh comment on my uh youtube and i'll answer your question so um it's almost done so uh what i'm sure is that we are going to have our character back because so you see we have this character here because we have not done some we have retargeted everything so if i click back but if i double click this character here and i go back here to the skeleton no let me close this one close the other one okay not let me show you so i need to come back here and i go to my character here i go to the blueprint and i have this character if i double click this character here and i go to viewpoint i have my character this here so i need to come and change this character here and i if i come here that's what i said i need to be clear so i'll just select my character ashibi and then i need to change everything because the animation that was being used were from the other character so i'll leave that one as the blueprint use animation blueprint but i'll come here and i'll select my shibi animation blueprint and don't forget to save this one so if you save now if you cross here now if you preview again um this will repeat the same because the game uh, the background we are using here is a demo and it's uh the sequence is just programmed to behave the same way so let's wait so um uh and uh I'm try I'm waiting for this one to finish that why I'm also a bit confused but uh you can just drink uh a glass of water and then we continue so uh <clears throat> so almost done now So this is our where our game starts. So now if you look at the character, now you have changed your own character. Now you can use Shibi. And now you can I want us to tour to this town to see how it will look like. And you can use your like the kids that you used to play games. And now you see this is a very big uh level where you can add so many are complicated things and so um we can try to see how this town look like with it we're using our character that we have made
so that we know we can have a clear picture of what we are going to do. So, um, good. So I wanted to come here and now we can click escape and now we have our background back. So, um, I also imported some cars here. I want to show you vehicle. If I go to my map. No, I want to uh, select car material. No, a pickup. No, uh, so I have those cars. So I can drag those cars inside here. And now I start making my uh, level look a bit more complicated. So we are going to uh, like, uh, A few cars then we can go on so this might take because every time you load something new on the allele it will take some time to um, start compiling and everything but whenever it is done, so we have this lorry here and we can load this lorry. Uh, this, so I can click, uh, mm, so I want to select. I can click E to say I want to rotate this one and that video to move it. So I can keep like this one. So I want to see where I want to add my things. So, uh, So the hot key for and if you see here you see there's a camera so uh this is a so i'll just i want to put this one to stay there and i can also think like i want to make this as uh, to become a city that is uh, like an odd city and a bad on city and maybe we call this game an abandoned game a bad on city game so I can put it, I can take my pickup. So the best thing is that it will only be hard to import your first uh, items. So for the second one, you, if you import this the lot for the second time, it will not take too much time to compile. So that's the, uh, the advantage. So at the beginning, it will have to compile everything because everything here is new and have to match with a, a program graphics. So uh, it's almost done and if you have any question you can, uh, so this is the car we have, you can put it like somewhere like that one. You want to make everything look a bit and if you see here down it's saying compiling shades. Because so what I like to do is that I like to approach every uh, to put everything that i have inside so that the next time if i need to add the same uh the end so I, it doesn't take long to repeat the same process so um and i'm sorry for this three so And yeah, it's almost done now. 
So I can put that car there and uh, I'll upload also this pickup so that we don't we have everything that we have on those cars here inside. And now I can show you what you're going to do. So um if you are new and you have I have skipped some plots because I did also a video where I showed you how to um getting started with a little agent of 4.5 that the one that i'm using like now it's the new version that you can also use this to make the i start learning how to develop games for the coming ps5 so i will also put that one there and i want to also take this car here that i have all of them in my um program here so when i'm doing everything i like to work on a the uh, realistic uh, background because it also give you this picture of you being more creative so uh, the good thing is that when everything is done now we can now be able to add like you can try to look for more cars but for this tutorial so i'll put it there and now they are compiling so we i can check like this one as already so i can try to rotate and if I click this one, uh, I want it to become more creative. I can click there and I can turn uh, this car like the car that somebody had an accident. And also I can turn it like, so I think the other way loud is, so let's see. Like that. So I come to this car because I want to make this one look like, so I can become also creative and I turn this car there. If I click W, I can move this car like they had accident there. And this car, um, let me turn it first. I can turn it like that, leave it like that. And now I use my uh, a letter to go and see what I have here and also I can like yeah, everything is saving this is the best thing about Unreal Engine every time you do something it will save everything automatic so in case you forget to connect your computer you will not lose your things so uh, and I can so I want to make this city look just like uh, a city where nobody lives there. So now I can come to this side and I can add. So if I want to change this one, I can come here to the material and I can make this car um, Change the material so I'll, I can come here, spot car. So I can just leave it there and I can take this spot car and I um, I rotate it like that one so. And I can take like this pickup and I put it there. Um, so I can take like this one and I put it there. We want to make it a bit so I can take this lower and I put it there. Take this one and I put it there. Now, if you notice something, every time we are dropping something, we don't take any more, too much time to import anything. So because everything is now compiled and everything now works fast. So I can rotate this one and I put it like that. Uh, 
I go a bit here. Can put this pot car. Look like that. So I can put this here. We rotate it to add us. We can put this one here. So I'm trying to do this one so that uh, I save the time so I can try to make this one a bit look like it had an accident. So I can come here and see like I want to put all those one so if we get another cast we can try to change everything so i'll try to delete i can delete this one so if you need to delete something you need to go to the to right click you go to the edit and then you say delete no i did a mistake i deleted the wrong thing so i'll have to undo I can click G if this one appear and then I, I select only this thing. I only want to delete my car, not everything. So uh, I can take this one there. And I lot it out a bit. So here we still have a space here and we can try to add more things we are trying to use the resources that we have for the time being so um what i can also do i can come back i go here to my i hope it will not download because so i can have and i have this material i can say i want to send them to my project that's how we say the things to the project could not take long time and we can try to check what we have so I still have this zombies here. I will try to add them as the um, as the uh, enemies, but um, I'll do them on a separate video because we need to check on something. So I can also check what I have. Here, like what I can also try to make my background look more uh, good. So I can also uh, said no, this one you cannot use this on uh, a little agent. Uh, 2.45. This one is downloading, but it's not a big file. So I can go to the market and if you go to the market, we can check whether there's something that is free. So I have some things here that have not but already I, I, everything i see something that i like i i, I save it then i can so uh, we have these tracks here so we can check this track they can hold uh from um only agent 4.1 to 4.5 so i can just click buy and we can use them on uh our project so I just say uh, bye and then they will send me an email and now I can hmm this one you have to use them in a project so that one you cannot so um, I'll try to sh I don't want to make this video look so long so I'll try to look for some more items on my free time so that uh, so what I can do is that uh, I can set this effect. This effect can help us to do something with it. So I'll just set them to my project. And now if I come back here to my project and I go back, I can have this construction material. So I come to not map, but um, mesh. And I have all those materials. So I can drag them so this one will also take the time to compile so 
so I can leave it there we can put like this one there so we are trying to make our background look more uh, good so I'll try to drop all those materials so I can drop them so that uh, if you need to use them again we don't need to come here and we start um, so this one need to be So, uh, okay. So what we are doing now is that we are trying to add, I'll try to add all those materials here because we can try to become more creative with those materials. And those materials that you're seeing here, they look small. So this one, I can take like this one and I put it somewhere there. We want to make this town look a bit uh, like the town where people are living. They wanted to do something, but they never finished what they were doing. So, um, so we can also put this one there. We have here this one. We have another one. We can put it like somewhere there. Uh, we can put this one there. We can put this one there. We can tour on our city to see how it will look like. And um, here is also not something, so we can try to make it look more attractive here. This one we can put it there, like someone left something there. We can put this on there. We can drop a wheel there and a wheel bow there. So we are trying to make our background look more attractive. So if that don't happen, you can um, um, press G and it will disappear. So we can put this on there. So for, we can take this Cacerida and put it there. And another one there. We can put this one there. This is like a city where people there are living and nobody now is living. That's the picture we want on our game so that we can come back because here we don't have cars and I try to check whether um, I go back to my car park mesh and then I can take one of those cars and I can also take like this one and I put it there and uh, I rotate it like that and this one I can rotate it like this one and then this one I can put it like there so uh, I'll try to we we'll try to change this cast a uh, material if you want to change this car material you can come here and you can choose one of the other material that you want to see on your car. So you can click that one.
so we can so there you can only change cut so you can try to change so um we can put this one there now uh what i would like to do is that uh can come back here i go to my i have imported um, the effects so i can go to the uh, environment i go to like um a fire and i try to look for what i have here let me see no i don't want that one No, I don't want also that one. So I'm trying to look for something uh, that to fit with my uh, breakable. So fire. you see with our car here it's like something happened so we can try to use those uh, effect here um. And we try to make some changes, like we can put snow. So that our street doesn't look the same. So uh, you need to become creative on your own and then you see what will work good for you. So now, um, So let me see whether I have another effect here. <clears throat> we have some animals here. I'll have to think whether we can try to use them on our project. So we still have so many things here that we can use. So I'll try to become more creative and try to see what we can change on our project. So it's also saving. So um, our good is finished. So we had fire. Mm hmm. So I wanted to see whether we can use this fire somewhere. Let's see how it look like. So now if you look at our, we have uh, a new look to our project. I can come here and I 
try to see whether I can add something here. So that we have, um, uh, what can I print and we print, let's see what we have. So uh and we rock let's see what we have no like uh we can put ice on our project like we can come and drop it there And this one you can drop it there. So now if you now you look at our project, we have uh, added a number of things within a very short period of time. And this will help us like if we are moving our character, we have something that we can be able to locate where our character is. So I can come here and I can put this on there. And on the other side, I can try to see like, So I can try to put everything on our project so that we it will look good. And now uh, let's now see when we play our game how to, whatever we have added, how to look like. Uh, so um, this is our first uh, demo game that we are making and this project, I'm going to save it and this is what we are going to improve in everything we do. So uh, I'm waiting for this character to come <laughs> because sometime arena. So now we have our character here. And we now we if we move our character, we can see something like here we have snow. Those decoration here we have uh like it is a bit um so this, uh, those are the things that they make our background look more attractive, not the way we found it. So we, here we have not added anything. We can try to check on what we can do there. And so I wanted to check And 
here we were here so we have to shake so like you see if this those the things that we added they make this place look a bit attractive not the way we started making it and now you can try to become more creative on your own way to see things working so uh i wanted to shake some there somewhere i added so like this building if you look at if i come back and you look at those building like here if i go a bit uh here you can see this building is also with snow a bit so uh this is what so we can try to look for more things and because i don't want to make this video look uh so big so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to look for more props and maybe tomorrow i'll try to add more things to this background we can check on what we are going to do and before i add this game I'll, I'll i'll export this game i'll show you how to do it so before before because you want everything to be appear on your game when you are um praying it so you go here to the file you go to the package so before i do i come here to the settings i need to change something here on the settings and i'll go to the so let me screw with that no it's not there so I, I can say all and it will show me this press here so i need to select this one the map that i used so i'll come here and i say uh i use the level uh is this demo screen or So I'm expecting that is the right one. So you have to change because if you don't change, everything will not be exported on your game. So you need to come there and you have to change those things that you change on your game, like you added a new background and it's taking some time. So. Um, and I have also to change game default map so I say that one was a demonstration I'm, I'm not sure so if I'm not sure I can come because there are two demo can come back here to my boy I, I have my map here and i want to see this is a building that i had so i came there and i used demo screen so this is what i'm going to change this is a demo screen so i'll come back here to the package uh, package project then i go to the package setting i say all setting if i screw down I'll have this so this one I have to say I want the demo screen and also this one I have to make demo screen and yeah so the other things I'll have to leave them like this one so you can come here but you don't want to change anything so just leave it like that. so I say export and you can just save and now because I'm using my uh, computer, so what I'm going to do, I'll come back here and I say that I want to export my game. So I'll just say like that one, it will start saving. And to ask me where I want to save my game. So what I will do is that I will say, I save my game here into this folder, my first game, and I just say, I save. So this one will take time to save everything. So uh, I don't think we wait. So I'll 
edit this. I'll, I'll show you on another project the game that we made, and I'll upload it on the computer. And thank you for watching this game. So um, tomorrow we will start now adding more things to our background that we made here, and um, we can also now start adding enemies and start uh, making our game. Uh, look more realistic like a game that we edit so um when it's, it's done because here is compiling when everything is done then i'll have to uh, open it and then i'll show you on a separate video thank you for watching have a nice evening